On July 23rd, all eyes will be on Nirmala Sitaraman. She will table the union budget for 2024. If you're wondering, hasn't the budget already been presented? Well, you're not wrong. On February 1st, India's finance minister did present a budget, but that was an interim budget. Honorable Speaker, I present the interim budget for 24-25. It was because India was going to polls. Now that elections are over and the Modi government is back in power, it's finally time for a full union budget. This will be the new NDA government's first budget. It is Nirmala Sitaraman's seventh budget. So a lot is riding on this. It will set the tone for PM Modi's third term in office. What will it look like? Will taxpayers get some relief? Will welfare schemes get a boost? Will the manufacturing sector get a push? Do you know where the word budget came from? In the 18th century, ministers in Britain could carry their expenditure plans to the parliament. It was usually in a bag. That bag was called the budget. It came from the French word bougette, which means a bag or a pouch. So that's how the word budget came about. India presented its first budget in November 1947. Since then, the country has seen quite a few. Some of those have stood out, like the 1991 reform budget. It opened up the Indian economy to the outside world. The 1997 budget was called the Dream Budget. It reformed the country's tax regime. In 2017, the railway and union budgets were merged. In 2019, Sita Raman broke away from a colonial tradition she did away with the briefcase and replaced it with the traditional bahi khata, which is a traditional Indian accounting tool. But the budget was still on paper. Every year, it took as many as 100 employees to print the union budget. It was a 15-day-long process. The employees had to stay together until the budget was delivered. But that changed in 2021. The budget went paperless. It's now on a tablet. It was to avoid contact during the pandemic. For the year 2021-2022. That brings us to this year's budget. What are the few things to look out for? First is tax cuts. It's all headlines have talked about in the last month. The last two budgets have seen no major change in taxation policies. But this time around, taxpayers are hopeful. They're expecting a significant tax relief, especially for those earning below 10 lakhs. The finance minister may provide lower income tax rates for them. Those earning above 15 lakhs per annum can also expect some tax relief. On top of that, other major expectations include deductions under the new tax regime and an increased basic exemption limit. Enhance their dignity. Number two, welfare schemes. They are expected to get a boost in this budget. The government may increase the annual cash payment to small farmers. It's currently rupees 6,000. It could rise to rupees 8,000. Higher allocation is expected for job creation and rural housing. Schemes like Manrega, PM Awas Yojana, and PM Kisan Samman Nidhi could get more money. Number three, a push for the manufacturing sector. The government is likely to reaffirm its commitment to domestic manufacturing. So the new budget is likely to focus on that. It could even reinstate the 15% concessional corporate tax rate for new manufacturing entities. Number four, a focus on sustainability. 
the budget will reflect the government's climate priorities. It could promote CBG, that's compressed biogas, by offering better rates for the same. The government could also push for adoption of electric vehicles with new schemes. For real estate, it could facilitate access to low-cost loans for green certified buildings. Number 5. A focus on artificial intelligence. AI has emerged as a defining force across the globe. It's powering industries and could help create new jobs. But that can't happen without government help. The government has already been providing grants and collateral free loans for AI ventures. But what India needs is better funding access and easier regulations. This could revolutionize the AI sector. But despite the spending pressures, India is likely to maintain or lower its planned market borrowing for the year. The government aims to bring fiscal deficit down to 5.1% of the GDP. So it's likely to stick to that target. Those are some of the main things to focus on in this budget. But there will be a lot more. As we said, this is the new government's first budget. So it's likely to set a tone. It will reflect the priorities and goals of the new government. And we'll find out more on July 23rd. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.